I'm still warm and I got a bit of headache, but I'm fine to go. Let's keep going. Whew. Just keep sipping this water and I should be fine. <laughs> I hope I haven't got COVID-19, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I work with Oh, just let me just let I know I'm not I'm not even in there, yeah. Yeah, I saw that one. Ugh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. It's about time yeah. you into the yeah. business now, Callum. It, uh, I'm just making sure it was online. Hello everyone and welcome to the SLR side pod. Back for a new season! And I can't believe hey. we are actually back after so long, bloody hell. Uh, we don't have as many people tonight, but we've got the uh, usual squad, of course. Me, your host, Icon76. Along with my co-host, Stevo, who is uh, not actually at home right now. He is the most dedicated person in this entire league. He is from a he is like literally in a lorry at this moment, parked inside a car park, so big shout out to Steve for the dedication. And of course we have Clock, the quiz master himself. Hope he's all excited for the quiz, because I am. So I've been I've been waiting for this. This has been like <laughs> with all of this lockdown I've been waiting for the clock's quiz to start again. <laughs> what? <laughs> waiting several months. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough, mate. It's tough. Uh, <laughs> of course, in the background, we do have the Wednesday stream, which is, of course, on the brand new game F1 2020, which is a short like the old game was, but with nice looking cars, sort of, I guess. But anyway, this stream will be all about the brand new season of all the things that are new, some of the things that are old, and of course, us. We're all the original people from the start of the league, so we're all the old things that are part of the league. Uh, I'm hoping... Yeah, that's, that's part of the new thing. Oh! Okay. It's technically a new lineup. <laughs> to catch my drift, I sort of condensed it all into one thing. Jesus, man. Oh, wait then, uh, can we get Owen in? Because I've just seen he's gone online. And he's gone straight to a party. Uh, send him an invite. Uh, shout out to the nine viewers that are already watching, seeing some good dedication for the uh, side pod. I'm hoping you've included your audio, by the way, because... Yes, I think I have. You haven't. I uh, have. That would be bad. Uh, let okay. me just check. So, uh, yes, mine's did. Owen, that, Owen, that goes <coughs> to you as well. If you could include your audio. Uh, uh, how you doing, game Owen? We've got a message. Oh, we need to game sound is too loud. I take it too that's loud. off okay. the stream. Right, give me yeah. a second. Uh, I had a feeling this may have not been changed. Master volume. Ah, they've only changed master volume. Doesn't always fix it. Yeah. Six. Six. If you just can uh, let me know how that sounds now, if it's a bit quieter. It could be quieter, but well, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm trying not to watch the stream while I'm streaming. Okay, like I said before, we will be all about everything new and some of the things that are old in this league. Starting with, we have a brand new division. SLR Elite has joined our division roster now. Uh, we don't actually have a representative in today, but we do have two of the league owners who are probably more qualified than I am to explain it, I guess, because I'm not sure uh, about SLR Elite, and I'd rather one of the LLs explain the brilliance of it. Clock, take it away. You know what? <laughs> well, I, well, she <laughs> just put me on a spot. I was mess, was messaging with with uh, with Freeman, but uh, <laughs> I love doing it. So it's, it's my favorite thing about this stream. I just yeah. get to put things on people. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll we'll. Uh, I can first of all explain that Elite is a brand new division, and I am sure everyone knows it by now. But I do know it's. Um, it has been a bit of confusion regarding to what division is actually new. 
And I've seen a couple of people thinking that Div 2 is the new one, because that is the one with a different time. But I will uh, break all of those... Uh, whatever it's called, all of those uh, false statements. Because the new division is late. Yes, exactly. The all other divisions may have same times, but they have been uh, renamed only. Or moved, you can, you can say. Um, so that also leaves us in a spot where no one is able to defend their title. Oh yeah, uh, because like in uh, Div Three last season, uh, Dark Senna won, and he's not in Div Three for this season, so he can't defend his title. Beast yeah. Assassin won in uh, Division Two; he's gone all the way up to Elite, so he can't can't defend his title either. Jesus and Christ. Jam, who won Division One, <laughs> is now in Elite, of course, so he cannot defend his title in in Division One either. So all divisions is gonna see a new champion, and of course, Elite is gonna see a first champion. Yeah. Exci exciting times in SLR. Times. Yeah. Yeah. I know for a fact <sighs> I'm very looking forward to it, seeing how every division sort of functions, because of course, what comes with a new division, we need 20 new drivers, plus to fill out what was left of the rest of the division. So of course, we have had to recruit and transform the divisions to finally get every division filled. I think every, every division's filled, isn't it? Oh, I think Div 3, filled. yeah, Div 3 might work, but it's just, the good thing is, um, it just shows what a great place SLR's in, because we, we, well, Rango wanted to do four divisions from the outset, so that was always his plan, but <laughs> it was, it was making sure yeah, we had enough, no, but it was making sure we had enough drivers, and I think it just shows the, the strength and depth we've got in the league as a whole, and the people that want to come in. I mean, the amount of reserves we had last year, we, we could not do it. We had to, we had to expand yeah. and we had to grow, and it's great. It just shows, it just shows the great place that we're, SLR's in at the moment. So, onwards and upwards, I think and, it's great. And it even shows how far we've come that every division, hopefully Division 3 will get more later, but every division has more than one or two Reserves. I mean, I think my own I think Div Three have has uh, Div Three has yeah Div Three has four reserves at the moment, but the problem, uh, I think a couple um, only wanted to go reserve because of uh, not being able to make yeah. it or or there's a timing of wanting to make sure they can make it and stuff. Um, so yeah. I think we, you know every league ha every division has got more than twenty drivers, which is great. Yeah. But full time seats, yeah, I think there's say. one one remaining, which 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 that won't take long to fill. We will fill that pretty easy. Actually, and like I think said, they were doing some recruitment tonight, tonight so oh, I think that might be so filled by the end of this um, yeah. stream. Yeah, <laughs> it could be filled already, so that's great. <laughs> but, but no, it's this. It just, it just, I, I love it. I just think it's great where we're at as a league um, and how it's grown and expanded. And you know, but I will say, what great work Scott and Ranga have done in the off season, along with a lot of the head head admins and and some admins of getting it organized yeah. it was a hell of a it took a hell of an organization and uh, a big shout out to them really because they've done a cracking job and to get it all up and running so i just wanted to put that out there as a as as a brand new head admin myself i've noticed how much the los do so much so i would love to thank uh all the los as well for you know keeping us in check if you know what i mean i don't know i've been I've been frantically doing this and that and the other, not really knowing where I am. So, yeah, not only the admins, also the drivers deserve a shout out for, of course, sticking through the off season, joining the invitationals we've had for yeah. during COVID nineteen. I know it's been <laughs> a more difficult time than what our off seasons are usually are, um, but I'm thankful to everyone in the league for sticking through it. Uh, so. Yeah. And it looks like Smoke's just joined the party, so we've got uh, an elite oh. driver in now, so we've got a driver from... Ah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Brilliant. It's great. I've also... Excellent. Well in Smoke. I've also managed to get a... I've also, get a, I've also managed to get a statement from our head admin in Elite, uh, SL Freeman, so we have some <laughs> elite opinions from elite people, which is great. But uh, shall we do like the driver draw and start with the three, or...? Yeah, going from the top let's today. Do what, what do you think? Well, let's go from the top. Let's go from the top. We went from the bottom yesterday, in the draw. So let's go. For, let's start with elite. We just we just talked about it, innit? Yeah. Let's see if Smoke is available to talk. If he's actually 
speaking, because... <laughs> 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 have, have you ticked your box up? Yep. Yeah, my, my box. Yeah. Excellent. Alright, uh... It. What I think we're gonna do is every... Because of course we've got a representative of every division. Uh, so you'll represent Elite. Uh, Clock representative one. I represent Duke Oof. two. And... And Owen. One. Rep I don't know what, 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 yeah. oh, what yeah, division's oh, Owen in. Got... Div one. One. Div one. Div one. Div one. Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah, so we haven't just one. got to listen. So we haven't just got to put up with the clock's voice then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, I'll think we'll take it off now. I'll start with uh, with uh, naming the uh, the lineup, and then uh, I'll. Uh, Are you going to name the cards from... alongside? Yes, and I'll I'll uh, yeah, I'll right. read a statement from Freeman, and then we uh, um, spoke and say say his opinions on what it is. Should I yep. be amazing? And uh, well, well. Certainly, we'll start off with the lineup first, and we drawn yesterday, of course. Uh, in the Mercedes, we have Motion Hassa and XR Christ Bear. Ferrari is driven by Ghost Colt and reigning Division One champion UK Beast Assassin. Two. Red. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Division <laughs> yeah. Two. Yeah, sorry. I, yeah, thanks, Owen. That, that is very important. We were just talking about. Oh, come on. I mean, I. We were already talking about this. You were the one who was mentioning it. Yeah, I, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very pleased you, you corrected me there. Thank you. Go on, um, <laughs> Red Bull, Mercs, and Bessas, McLaren, uh, SLR Smoke is in here as well, with uh, Rissell, uh, Renault, Ham Jam 2002, and SLR Dylan, Alfa Tauri, Brian Jones, and Crispy, also a former Division 2 driver. Racing Point, B Dunk, and SLR Darnell. Alfa Romeo, Midsy and Paraquix, Haas, SLR Freeman and Sidrad, and in the Williams we have the reigning one champion, Jamham, uh, together with Saw69. And uh, what, I've, what uh, this we have a saying from Freeman here is he's expecting the likes, the likes of the Ham Jam brothers, Midsy himself, of course, and of yeah. course, Sidrad, maybe even B Dunk to really have a chance at the title. So he's expecting a lot of people, which I say is very nice, very exciting. He he's expecting it to be a very close. I that it took a has, especially with him and Sidra on the same team, which I would agree with a lot. Uh, Alfa Romeo could be very interesting as well, as well, and he is expecting the midfield to be very close. And to remind you, the Alfa Romeos is mid C and Paraquix. Yeah, that's a good team. <laughs> I hope I wasn't yeah. too quick there, but... Uh, no! No, I think you were I'll, right, uh, mate. I'll leave it over to Smoke and see if he, what he has... In terms of expecting ex expectations for the for the there season and uh, <laughs> and least least smokes in a, who at least you... smokes in a proper car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and who would you? This is this is probably putting him a bit on the spot. But who would you tip to to take the title? Yeah, I'm going to say Midzi this season. I think he's looking good from oh. what I've seen early on, and uh, nice to see him different. Anyway. That's who I'm saying from the start, anyway. An interesting, uh, that. No, that's a good shout, he has, he's getting some good times yeah. in the time trial. Yep. Every, every track I look at, he's at the top on my friend list, anyway. Oh god. Yeah, I think we might, uh, have a very reasonable, uh, opinion on him winning this season, then. Thor. Yeah. You never know, we've had some weird seasons before. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with uh, with new drivers coming in, such as Sidrad, and yeah. of, of course we have the Jam Ham Ham Jam brothers, and we have two of course... drivers who are actually going to try and defend the fact that they're champions in Elite this year. So let's see what they can do. And I, I remember so... you smoke to be very good in qualifying. Yeah, at least in last I'm year's game. So how are you finding this game, Smoke? I'm struggling on it, honest. Yeah. I'm finding the I find the old game easier. 
I think as everyone's saying that the traction's <laughs> easier on this one, but it seems to be the opposite around for me. I'm struggling with the traction more than on the 2019. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, I yeah, found no, it a no, bit. This game is a bit tricky. Yeah, I I found it a bit like weird because I I keep doing the traction I did in in 2019. So I'm actually slower out of corners than I could be because I'm too slow on the traction. Because I've also felt it like the opposite that you say it's it's a bit easier now. I can go earlier on the throttle, and... but it's it's of course very personal. The... Get get used to how. Codemasters have written the, the the code for the game. How, how it changes, how the different, <laughs> like you say, throttle inputs and stuff. So, I think it takes. I think I think everyone will, everyone will be up to speed by barring. Right. Talking of Codemasters, the uh, game is crap because uh, it keeps crashing on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you think it as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to stream. And it won't actually let me sit and spectate for too long, otherwise it just kicks me out of the game. Wow. Oh god. <laughs> Luckily this is mainly podcasts and not a race, so yeah. we at least we could at least say that. It would be it would be worse if, if it was the actual race. Uh, well tomorrow yeah. actually, it's F two, isn't it? Whereas and it's yeah, uh, in Bahrain. Yeah. It's in Bahrain oh, first yeah. one, okay. So yeah. it's Friday then the first race. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, oh, fair enough. Uh, all you want to say on the topic of uh, Elite there, um, Smog? Or do you have anything else you would like to uh, say upon the matter? Um, I think the Ace of the Elite has increased a lot for the, this new season, so it's definitely going to be a lot tougher. And uh, closer all the way through, I think, from the quickest driver to the slowest driver is. Definitely a smaller gap this season, so yeah, it's looking good. It's really interesting. Yeah, everyone that's watching right now, make sure you do tune in on a Sunday at 7 and catch the Elite, because from the sound of what Smoke is saying, it's going to be a very entertaining uh, season for the Elites. So, Clock, if you would like to move on to yours and Owen's own division, Division one. Certainly, certainly, and I'll do the same thing again and remind everyone of the lineup. And we'll take it off with the Mercedes, who's driven by EOR Hamilton 44 and JH199. Ferrar is taken by Jeep Jamp 325 and SLR McEwen. I'm very proud I said that correctly, I think. Um, <laughs> Red Bull is Division and the All Happy SLR Ranga by being in that <laughs> car. Uh, McLaren. Oh, God. <laughs> McLaren driven by Dark Sennon and the Joko. Renault, we have, check this out, and Sailor Bunny. And the Alpha Tauri is driven by myself and ARL Predators. Racing Point is taken by Tuman and Stellanus. Alfa Romeo, we have Monkey and SLR Gunner. Haas, we have Kevin GT and our podcast friend here, uh, SLR Owen. And Ooh. in the Williams, we have SLR Liam and SLR Scopes. God, I'm so jealous of the Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting looking lineup, I would say. Yeah, I would agree but, with that. But in personally, I'm not. I don't know what to expect really. I uh, I'm a bit unsure of my own pace simply because I haven't done a lot of online racing yet this year. I think uh, Australia would be the first first actual uh, look. But judging from the pre-season race, we had uh, Liam and but he is he is a reserve, so he doesn't have a full seat. He actually won it, but but Liam. It finished second and a third maybe it was and it was predators on the podium as well it was that's my teammate so I, hopefully my teammate can can get some good points and myself and we can have a shot and some big points and some 
higher positions in the constructors and uh, but for the drivers I am very unsure actually who's who's the quickest and not. I'd expect JH to be to be a good shot. He's he was in Div One already last season and he stayed there, so yeah. I expect him to have some pace. Um I mean an, an interesting driver would be the McLaren driver of Dark Senan who's dominated Div three last season and now has gone all the way up to Division One. Um would be interesting to see what he can do. Not sure if he can challenge for the title straight away, it would be a pretty amazing story, but you never know. We've had the drivers before winning races in different divisions. Um Smoke is one of them. One in both oh, division yeah. three, division two. Did he <laughs> won in division one? No. Did you win a race so. in yeah. division one? No. no. Never even got a podium. Did you? Oh really? really? Oh, I no. thought you had one in Division 1. No, I, well, I joined Division 1 in Germany last season, Germany. so I did half a season. I think my best chance oh, of yeah, getting that a podium or anything was Abu Dhabi, but in the last few laps it kind of just fell apart. No, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll come this season. Again. I hope so, anyway. Uh, well, well, we'll come on to the biggest podium goals later when we get to the three, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that in the quiz? Is that a question in the quiz? Is it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, God. Would, that wouldn't be a very hard question. If it was, who, who, who wants the podium the most in SLR? <laughs> Could it be Steve? Steve O. <laughs> ah, but um, <laughs> back to Division 1 then. Um, in terms of the constructors. I think that's the tough one as well. I, I always have to root for myself with my own team, and I think uh, Predator is a strong driver, at least judging by last game, and he's he's a bit of a Mr. No Penalties. Um, he never gets a penalty, and it's really, really annoying when you're ahead of him with like six seconds, and then you get put behind him when you're first line. But it's it's fair play. It's it's a mechanic in the game, so you, he's mastered that very well. But uh, Red Bull as well with, with Ranga, who's... Always have seem to have some some pace and, and division. Who's who? I only think about him taking me out in Brazil when I see his name. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no memories for myself. The, the um, constructors that I'm looking for, looking at most from Div One. It's got to be Ferrari with Callum McEwen and uh, Jib Jam, yeah. who's uh, stayed in Division One. He was, so he was a Div One driver last year. I think he, he didn't really. I don't think he got many races. If he got any at all, I'm not sure. But um, it, yeah, alongside McEwen, who uh, won three races in Div Two last year, we'll be looking at something definitely ex uh, looking at something exciting from those two. I agree. Cal McEwen always uh, looked uh, strong on pace, so I definitely think he'll be a strong contender. Yeah, I mean, so, some of these lineups are just such so amazing to look at. I mean, uh, I wouldn't count out Renault, to be honest, to a silly bunny in check, because they are, I believe, friends in real life. And uh, at least they were friends before they joined SLR. And uh, so we could be seeing <laughs> uh, some, uh, some chemistry we had, between the two. We had, we had a bit of a funny thing there yesterday when they... Uh... One of them, I think it was Czech who said in the in the chat and on Discord before yeah. the draw that I just uh, I get me any teammate but not silly bunny and then he got him, which was pretty <laughs> funny <Yeah>. I think. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, the relationship that started off at least to the outside in a in a pretty funny way. But, uh, we'll see how it works out later. <laughs> uh, it's always good to have a friendly rivalry here and there, though, isn't it? Especially if it's against your teammate. Yeah. The difference between between a game and real life is that you're not compared only to your to your teammate, are you? You're comparing to the whole. Well, true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit scared about my team pairing being with Kevin, who's again stayed from uh, Div One. I'm a bit scared that he's going to wipe the floor with me. To be honest, I, I wouldn't <laughs> expect any better, really. I've I found that a bit of a weird thing that you know in games it obviously everyone has the, the same cards completely equal but it still feels like you've got to be your teammate for some reason I don't it just it becomes a bit of a more of a com comparison it's a bit of a weird thing I think but I don't know if I'm I'm on the only one, I'm the only one experiencing it but I think it's it's 
just come from real life, you know, but I've always been a bit both unlucky and unlucky. I will either one beat my teammate and when I haven't beat my teammate I just won the championship, so <laughs> I season I mean, three is it? Yeah, and season two. As, as well. someone who's been your teammate, it's awful. Oh, <laughs> to um, be honest. Yeah, I was Callum's teammate in season one, but then uh, he got like two points, and I got like seven points. So, yeah, I, don't wanna, I got two wanna, points in this. Yeah, I want to rip up the wounds, the bad memories for you, Callum. You always do, mate. You always do. <laughs> you're you're always ripping off that faster. Uh, <sighs> personally, enjoy it. It was a good season for me. Yeah, it was yeah, a good. It was a good season. six races. It was a good seven races for me until I got moved up. <laughs> But this isn't yeah, the point about me, is it? It's your own uh... <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely interesting. There's a lot of people who can challenge, and I hope we have some close races, some uh, some great battles like recent seasons and races. As long as we can have a turn on pilot like we did last year, I'm very happy. <laughs> Funny thing <sighs> is that we had that kind of pilot in season one as well, so. Yes, we by yourself, we've, if we've I'm done not, if I'm we've not, done Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Although we're in Division oh, One now, God. so it has never been in the pilot in Division One, has it? Exactly. But I can so tell that Division we're looking, we're Division looking Two. Looking I'm telling Callum, Callum that yeah. Division, <laughs> Division Two has had three races in Australia, and two of them have started off with a massive Turn One pileup. And they've um, always been when I've been in the division. Oh God. Talking about that, <laughs> then I guess we can remove on. Remove. Move on to the division. Move on. And, move on. <laughs> uh, I was. Uh, I don't know why I said that. I meant move on. I guess we can move on, and you can Here tell me who's going to cause the pile up this year, Callum. No. <laughs> oh, here we no, go. But the, go on, uh, mate. No, but I'll tell. I'll tell you the, uh, the lineup for division two then. Um, there's not a lot of people who is here that was here last season, so it's almost a completely. Yeah. New division in terms of drivers, um, but we have in the Mercedes we have MRZ R Leia and Original. We have Picklin and Panther in the Ferrari. We have Lewis OD and SLR Neelix in the Red Bull. Racing Point we have SLR Bean and I Callum himself. <laughs> in the Alpha Tauri we have Rockamada and PPR Venom. Uh, McLaren is driven by Barlow and Step Leather Bob. Us is taken by Zach is Beast and GC. Alfa Romeo is Craig and Benz, Williams is Gito and Marley, and then in the Rena we have Connor and Nikki. So, Callum. <sighs> yeah. I I'll think this is you. definitely going to be a very interesting uh, race for Division, uh, well, not race, season in the hall. I think that's going to be non stop closeness, if I'm honest. Uh, of course, we did the uh, practice races. Uh, last week and Saturday, well, I, I, that, I didn't watch most of it because just, I, I myself struggled due to other conditions, but uh, yeah, I think we're definitely going to see some strong um, actual performances from our new drivers, Gito and uh, I think it's Niki, I believe his name is. Yeah, Niki. Well, very, some very quick times. Gito, Div 1 times. I'm I personally think this is Gito's season to win, <laughs> if I'm honest. If he doesn't get thwarted by the system, that is. Yes, if he doesn't get thwarted by the system, because he was five tenths quicker than the next nearest uh, driver. And that was on his first lap. This guy had done a second lap on a better conditioned track, so... I don't know. This was pre-season, so I'm edging my bets on some of the new drivers taking the podiums this season. I myself, I'm hoping to, you know, do well, but to be honest, I'm not seeing too much of an improvement on this game compared to the last one. Uh, I think it's, it's definitely going to be a very close division if everyone can, you know, show up, because of course... We are now occupy, occupy, occupying, occupying the new time, which is six o'clock, and none of us are really used to that. I know it was a hassle getting everyone in this season, so um, this can 
this season for Division 2 was going to be about consistency and showing up because, you know, it's definitely going to be a interesting season. I'm glad to actually be on a team with uh, SLR Bean, who's actually uh, been emotional. Who was actually in season two my, oh, what's it called, rival for the title? Came second behind me, so, and how that team dynamic's gonna be, but a strong team this season, definitely gonna be Red Bull with Neelix and Lewis, who both in their own right are quick drivers and consistent drivers, as well as Benz and Craig. Benz is a new driver, and I've noticed he's quite a quick driver, so we'll just to wait and see. I've, I, I just think it's going to be a close season, and I think that's all I can say about it. Uh, if you want to move on to Div 3. Fun fact for you there, Callum. You have the chance to be the first driver who to win championships in different divisions. Oh really? Also, I would give a big, uh, would give a big opportunity for Jam Ham as well, who can win elite, of course, this season. Who's won already Division One? Yeah. Otherwise, as well. how many guys? Have yeah, you of got course, in he a... has the chance. Beast, Beast can do oh, it as yeah, well. Yeah, he can yeah, win Beast, elite yeah. in Division Two. Uh, exactly. Three drivers. Oh, and would God have Jan the Jan chance. As well. Yeah. God, that, there's so many people going to uh, be How many there. champions have we got in the entire grid, then? Uh, um, uh, clock. You'd have to give there. Clock a minute for that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it is a, 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 a championship. Me, Jam. There is a championships yeah. uh, list on the website in the Hall of Fame tag, although it's not updated mm -hmm. with the championship, with the champions from Season 4. So yeah. this is only championships from season one two three and it's three and it does include constructors and joint constructors as well so we have steve Rick there at the bottom with one for example Which oh is yeah one us. The, the, the uh joint constructor constructor yeah exactly with mclaren <laughs> so everyone else everyone everyone else won me a championship it's great <laughs> 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 That's what I'm expecting for my Haas boys this season, it must be said. They seem pretty well, strong. You are, yeah, you are very strong. strong for the uh, most successful SLR constructor, though, in, uh, in terms of Haas. Yeah, well, then. Yeah. Yeah, they put the Maybe it's uh, a season two, isn't it? One. Big expectations. I mean, I lost but, it. Uh... Uh... Yeah, I lost, I lost out uh, in uh, with the Haas last year. Lost in my two turns, and that was it with me in the house. So, <laughs> sure to live, you live with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we're happy with, or if you're happy, Callum, with the with two, then I guess we leave it to Steve O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you not going to say that? that oh, you need to say. Oh, yeah, of course. I can say it. Of I can, I'm, oh, yeah, you can say it. That's, that's, I'll go for it. No, go on, go on. We've done the other ones. Yeah, this clock was, is the this uh, was your job. Yeah, the announcer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Right, 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 right. The free lineup. There it is. <laughs> I start from the bottom this time. It's not with Williams, and I completely regret to said that because the first guy is the craftiest jester. I think. Yeah. So it's a lot of threes there <laughs> instead of E's, which makes me a bit confused. Yeah. But I hope I said it correct. But he's partnered up with Bag Baggy Fan. And Haas, yep. we have Jules and Plum Gorilla. Alfa Romeo is Jay Geddes and Jonesy. Racing Point is SLR Dodgy and SLR Hypers. Alfa Tauri is Plain Teddy and Sprightly. Renault is Scott Laney and Remix. McLaren is Ned Claw and SLR Steve O, with a lot of O's there. <laughs> <laughs> Red Bull is SLR Gareth and SLR Crush. Ferrari is SLR ST2OH and Blandy. And then in the Mercedes, that pole is currently alone. Oh, nice. unfortunate. But I expect he will be receiving a teammate yeah, ASAP. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the standout one for me is probably SLR Dodgy and SLR Hypers because they I, I raced with them in pre-season a little bit and they've got good pace 
Um, yeah. And they seem to get on as well because it was one of the part. You know, they seem to be in pairs a lot together. So I think that's going to be a strong team racing point. Um, playing Teddy and Sprightly. Sprightly, he's ever improving. Um, playing Teddy on his day can be really quick. Um, let himself down a couple of times with some mistakes and bad results, but but yeah, on his day he, he has got some good pace. Um, but I think Gareth showed like an unbelievable second half of the season last year. Um, won a lot of awards in the award show. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't count him out. To be fair. I think once he gets a handle on this game, I think he's struggling slightly to get a handle on this game. But I think once he does, I think he'll be one to watch myself. Um, who else have we got? A uh, baggy fan and craft, craft was it Crafty's Jester? Um, I think yeah, yeah. he. I think that's a good team. I think that's strong. And obviously, you can't rule out the McLarens of me and Ned because me and Ned, are the only guys who have started the first race in Div Three, Season One, Race One in Australia, are still there. So, oh, all right. Nice. Yeah. So it's nice that we're both actually teammates in the McLaren this year. So. That's a, good that that's a big question. The big question everyone wants an answer for: Are you getting your first podium this season? <sighs> well, I'm going to do a dandest, but I just don't know. It, 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 hey, you got to. I'm not. I'm not the quickest one. <laughs> I'm, but I'm nowhere near the quickest guy on the grid. Like, you know I mean? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the top three on the grid. So it, you got to get a bit of luck, on you? But I'm going to be trying. Try my hardest. And I haven't had much chance to because I started a new job and that. I haven't really had much chance to practice on this game, so I think it's going to take me a few races to get into it. But I yeah, would try, give it a go. I just love it. It's just great to, great to race and have banter and stuff. And I think, yeah, I think with Ned in my team, he uh, he likes to have a, a chat during the race. So I'm sure we'll oh, be, God, uh, yeah. I'm sure we'll be working as teammates pretty good. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think, I think. It looks quite strong. I mean, you look at the grid, it looks quite strong. There's a lot of good races there. So I think Div 3 is going to be good. I think it's going to be close as well. I think Jonesy as well. I just seen his name as well. Jules. Jules had a couple of podiums towards the end. Well, Belgium and I think there was one that yeah. later on as well. So I think I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be one to watch, entertaining, as, as Div 3 usually is. I think it's going to be... Yeah, I think it's going to be good this season. And Scott as well, Mr. Consistent. He, he, he said at the beginning of last season that he was just going to look for uh, points. Basically, just go just go for points and just drive, you know, be a bit more strategic in his driving. And it definitely paid off because he was up, you know, in top top four for most of the season. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. He's taking, he's taking the Prost approach then. As I would yes. call it. Yeah, he was a bit he was yeah. a bit famous. Yeah, he was a bit famous for, you know his counterparts was of course Senna and Senna always tried to be <laughs> yeah. the best in every practice session, in every qualifying yeah. session, and then we had Prost who only wanted to be the best in the race. And if he wasn't the best yeah. he would always take third if that was the best instead of overdriving to get second. That's it. Yeah. And of course no, he, he won five titles look at that. or four maybe it was. Four, four world titles, yeah. yeah. Prost had four world titles, so yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, I think that's sometimes. I think that's with the game. You've got to. It's you don't get any points in qualifying, do you? So I mean, I've never been good at qualifying. So I'm going to look at taking taking what Scott did last year, and I'm going to think I'm, I'm looking at doing that a little bit of just just perhaps you know look at my race pace and car setup a little bit more and try and work it that way. Because if you haven't got raw pace, I think you can win. It doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to get in the points if you haven't got the pace. I think you just, got, you know, if you know what you're doing. I mean, I messed up on pit stops. I mean, that's something I, only, I personally need to look at. And I'd, where I kind of pit too early or too late, you know, a couple of laps too late, and and people kind of undercut me where they shouldn't have and things. I think that's what I personally have got to do. But... Yeah, it should really put you in. To it. I mean, driving in the league, driving in the race, and being in the middle of it really puts you in the situation of, well, not really, but almost the situation of the real life teams. And you know, we people slag them off and everything. And you, you, you just realize how hard it is to get it wrong, and how hard it is to get it right, and how easy it is to get it wrong yeah. by just leaving it out an extra lap. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And I mean, it must be ten times much more difficult in real life, of course, because the game is is always going to be somewhat predictable. Yeah. Although I, 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 say I will, I will say one thing though. I'm yeah? oh, sorry, go on. No, I was going to say. I would say that Cloud Master. Oh my god, you two idiots. <laughs>
Yeah, exactly. I'll give it to you, Steven. Go on. Or maybe not. Thank <laughs> God, Steve will go. You can't. He's, he's died, I think. But I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, he did uh, die again. <laughs> yeah, go on, clock. Finish oh what you were going to say, mate. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah I was going to say oh that I've, I'd, I'd say that Codemoss has done a good job in making it more and more unpredictable uh, over the last couple of games. And I think the rain, for example, can hit both in a very quick and a very slow manner these days. So I, I like it. Yeah. yeah, it is definitely a better game than, well, um, more unpredictable game than it used to be. <laughs> go on, yeah. Steve, are you going to say what you No, say? all I was, I was going to say as well, I'm really looking forward to the Discord chats for each team for the Joint Constructors. Yeah. I think that's a great, I think that's a great, going to be good fun, that is good fun. And also, I, I think don't... like the Div 3 guys can really, you know, get some advice and stuff off the off the faster guys to try and improve as well. And I think that's that's a real good because I I'm got smoke because he was my engineer last year. I was I was joining parties with him and he was helping me like with pit stops <laughs> and strategy. So I'm glad I'm glad he's in the McLaren now so I can just ask him as a McLaren driver, as a fellow McLaren driver. So no, I think that's gonna be good fun. I think that's gonna be good good for everyone really. Yeah um, Yeah I was say, it was uh and I think it's because, uh, of course, the Ferrari guys last year, me being one of them, we uh, we actually, well, of course, Freeman came, I believe, came up with the idea to do the team chats. And that was because he had his own little Ferrari group chat on Discord that he used last season. And, uh, yeah. yeah, we were always helping each other out. And, like, with peer strategies, like we were saying, with, uh, with Scott and Sprightly, we were always making sure they were starting on the right tyres and everything. And, uh, yeah, it was quite, quite uh, good to see. I also think it's together. a very good, it's a very good assist, um, a thing to have to make all the divisions come closer. And of course, winning the joint constructors is is a very rewarding title to win. Uh, yeah. First of all, because it's not only you, it's also your teammate and six other people who has to do well for you to win it. And if you win it, you get rewarded by picking whatever car you want, which is, I think, a great reward. I mean. Personally, I like. Yeah, don't leave it, don't leave it to McLaren. me. Personally, when we won the Mac win the McLaren, you know, we we a lot of us just picked the McLaren again. Um, oh, we all did. This, we all did, didn't we? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the same this season. It seems like we were we liked each other better, or at least liked the car better than the last season's winners. Because I don't think <laughs> there was a single Renault, a single driver from the Renault team last season that pick, actually picked Renault again. They all pick different teams. <laughs> yeah, I think you're correct. Correct. <laughs> but I think we won it. We we won the first one, didn't we? We won the first joint that that actually gave you the the choice. I think that was the first season it was implemented that we that, that the winner get the the joint constructors get to choose their own car, and we just got on, didn't we? Really, so that was good. But I think, but I think this yeah, this disco thing it helped that. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I, uh, hopefully we can have uh, the divisions a bit closer and all the drivers working together and helping each other and... I mean, that, it's what it's for, you know, the, the better drivers can help the ones in lower divisions and improve and I mean, if, if you you help them in a good way, they might create more points for your team and, and yeah, benefit you, you yourself as well in, towards the end of the season if you, if you of course, win. Yeah, yeah um, I'm sorry to stop you, you boys, but I am conscious of time. So, because uh, of course, Steve, you want to be gone by about 10 o'clock. Well, and it could be, it could still be got the past. quiz. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, you still want to continue? Are you sure? No, 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 whatever. I'm, I'm happy. I was just going to say, all I was going to say is, like Clock said, that the, the faster guys can help the, the slower guys with. Um, like strategy and all that stuff, and obviously you know help because they are quicker. But also it helps because the slower guys can help the faster guys with support and kind of you know if they're down if they have a crap like a rubbish race and you can g them up and is it I think it's good I think it works both ways. So I don't think it's just the fact of our yeah. you know the the slower guys getting mentored by the quicker guys. It, I think it is a complete way of everyone helping everyone in different ways. So that was all I was going to say. Yeah, I do totally agree with that. To be honest, I didn't even know we were 
uh, going to create these group chats until suddenly they appeared in my Discord. I was like, oh, we're doing this then. <laughs> Great. I wasn't actually watching the stream last night for the driver draw. Driver draw? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, disgusting. Callum. I was actually. Oh, I was. I was streaming on my own account. Uh, I was streaming you're... Overwatch while I was. Uh... <laughs> oh my! You're you're lucky I live in Sweden. Otherwise, I would come over to your house. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, in we know defense... we know where you live now. <laughs> in my defence, <laughs> I thought it was on later than it was actually on and I completely forgot to put because I was going to have it on in the background of my own stream so I was going to have it like there while I was streaming so I could watch it and have a slight <laughs> so have the volume slightly on so I could listen to it but I completely forgot so yeah I so, found so, out so. because I got a uh, message in the general division, like, come on, racing point. I was like, oh, no, I'm in the racing point. <laughs> 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 I'm in the frog squad. My reaction squad. was worse, to be honest, when I got the hess. Well, I can hear you crying. You, I can make life better now, though, with the return of everything's, everyone's favourite segment. <sighs> the pod. Here we go. We still not got a jingle for this. Yeah, we need, Owen, a, jingle. We need to Owen, get a jingle yeah, for Crooks oh, quiz. Owen, can you can, <laughs> Owen, you can make one now with your with your with your lovely voice. <laughs> oh, uh, he's there. He's there. He's some, everywhere. Some help with that. It's your friend Clock. <laughs> Clock's quiz. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, from yeah. now from now on, Callum and Steve are just gonna make a make an intro song for me. We're gonna me make it up every week. <laughs> every week, yeah. Gonna a new one every week. Every week. <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome. Oh god, here we go. Okay, right. Come on, take then. it away, well, clock. So what's the theme? It's what's the... the theme today? The theme oh, yeah, is on, SLR. Okay. It's just SLR today. It's a bit of, uh, of course. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> we have a new season round the corner. We have to focus on the SLR today. Yep. Um, I've got some Australia questions in because it's Australia, of course, and some more general SLR questions. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll kick it off with Australia, as I said. Ow. This weekend, who is the most successful current driver in Australia oh, in current. terms of points? In terms in of terms points? Of, in terms of points. Well, get some, man. get your answers down in the screen chat as well, whilst uh, my colleagues here try to, try to think. Um... So it's someone who's still in the league now. Yeah, he's not the, uh, the, the, the the most successful overall, but I am looking for the most yeah, yeah, successful. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Point Trap, point man. Australia. Trap Man is actually the most su successful Australia driver out of everyone, but he's not here uh, anymore, no. so he's oh, the wow. most... Who's the most successful current driver? Um, be, I'm going to say you. A, yeah, I was going to say it's got to be a driver that's been in all, all seasons. He's cut out this, I didn't Clark. hear it. But we've had, if you want to know his record, he's done three races. Yeah, so that's all we've done. One, one yeah, that's win. all we've done in Australia. One win. Yeah, he's, he's one win, one DNF, and one podium. So well, two podiums you. then, because when he won, it was. No, oh, I've never won Australia. Ranga, it's not me. It is Ranga. Ranga. Well done, Steve-o. Oh my yes. God, well good job, Steve. Yeah, because I remembered he won. He won season one. Yes, he did. Did he? He did. Oh my God, yes, he did. did. He won yeah. the, won then, the then first he did, then he ever race in <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then yeah, he won uh, Friday night. <laughs> he just stopped. Yeah, then he. Uh, oh, I wish he was here for that. Oh, he would have loved that. Oh. <laughs> he also I think won the night was actually season three. Knew that Rang wasn't going to turn up. Yeah. True. He also finished the podium in season three, and last season he. Last season he crashed. He has four. 40 yeah. points in total he has in Australia. Uh, notable crash oh, right. review, didn't he? Uh, he's come, he just did. coming into he the did. second sector. Little wanker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was great to drive past. That was such... Because I was right behind just, and all I saw was just crash, and I was like, oh, lovely. That's going to be a great uh, discussion later on. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I'll come on to something else then, uh, more Australia. Who, there's four drivers who's DNF'd more than once in Australia. Who are these? Oh God. <laughs> mate, and how mate, many DNFs do they me. have? Oh, I've got a Well, I can tell you that <coughs> Callum is correct, I'm... he has two. I'm going. I'm thinking of the people that DNF'd in uh, just turn one last year. Because of course that's the only three I've taken. You part in. clock. You. Stevo. Stevo is not correct. He's not DNF really? twice. Wow. <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna say you. I'm myself. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I've finished two out of three Australian Grand Prix. Uh, I know I crashed in the first first season, but wow. It's only one DNF. <laughs> well, I have not DNF'd. Any race, actually. Was Taz right. one of them? I don't know when he joined the league, so... Taz is um... not correct. Ah, oh, good. Ned? No, we have one driver has three DNFs out of three races, but, and then oh, this missing one driver two has three DNFs. Um... Crush? No. No. Yeah, what, what, what division? Uh... What division are we looking at? Because I can't... I'm He's been in multiple United. divisions. Really? Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, oh, um, uh, is it either Scott or Gary? No. Damn. I'm out of the idea. Hicklin? Yeah. He's, he's a race winner in both Division 3 and Division 2. Both Division 3. But, they, but are they still current? Are they still racing now? He is not racing. The one, the oh, one who's had three DNA. Tomorrow is correct. Yeah, I've DNF three times. The Mara Masha, of course. Mara Masha, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh we are now God. missing two, are we so two drivers. Two drivers with two DNFs each. You say uh, Gary wasn't one of them. Gary wasn't, Gary one, wasn't of them. one of them. Uh, but are they are they all multiple course. division? Multiple division drivers are they? I uh, one when of them is Choco a current join? Div two driver, and I think one is a Div one driver. Or the one is oh, a reserve God. actually. He's a re he's a reserve now. One one guy Please? has a full time seat and one guy is a reserve. What did he say? East. No, that is wrong. Sam. Evoke. Yeah. No. When did Jocko join? No. Sorry. No. 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 It's to be a I tough nut to crack out this. Of ideas. I'm trying to think. He's a reserve that that's been in one. All one guy, he's a full-time driver. He's been in. He was in Div Three for ages. I may, I mean, was think he's been over that plan, but I have to check. Or is that Zach? Or well, he, he might he, be in. He, he might be in Div Three actually still. Oh. Um, uh, you, said, you said Ned, didn't you? Yeah, that's tricky. That one. Yeah, I said Ned. Ned is not Hang bad. on, let me bring the. Let me let me bring no, the. He's, three. Was, in he's been in Div Three yeah. for ages, but he went up to Div Two for this season. For this season, Zach. Hi Zach. No. Uh, Hicklin. 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 There it is. He has two I DNFs. I said Hicklin. Oh, did you? Yeah, I think you did actually. Yeah, I think I think Callum said Hicklin. And you said that uh, oh. one of them. It's one driver one. left. It's one oh, driver left. He's yeah. been a bit of everywhere. This guy. He's been in. He's been in Division Three. He's been in Division Two. He's. He then uh, stopped racing for a while, and I think he's come back to be a reserve now. Oh, step out of Bob. No. No, he hasn't. He hasn't been in Division Three, has he? No. Um, is it he's come back to be a reserve. I think he's, he's a reserve. reserve. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident he's a reserve. Um, what what other clues can I give you? Oh, is I it don't Favicon? know. He was. No, he was. He, he was going to win a title, but then. Uh, Took himself oh, out of the. No, he took himself out of the running by doing a noble move, oh, moving himself up. Smoke, Dorsey. No, Dorsey. Uh, well, oh. Dorsey is correct. Ah, there we go. Ah. Of course it was. I'll try. I'll fire, to bring up the Div One reserves list for a minute then. Well, I I, I have to say that I was, was a trying lot to. Of clues, I was bringing though. up the Div that Two. Was a lot of clues. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of clues. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think that's fair. This is hey, this is the first yeah, yeah, box yeah, quiz yeah. for how many weeks? Uh, a long so time. I think I think we need <laughs> to lose today. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you an easy one then. Um, well, I I think it's easy at least. I don't know what everyone else thinks, <laughs> no, but uh, it's be in season one, 
Season 1, obviously, we only had three divisions. That means four Constructors titles, of course, Constructors. But team won every division. Has! And, uh, yeah, I was gonna say Has is gonna be one of them, surely. Did you say Has for everything? Yeah. One of them. Well, I won Division 1, 2, 3, and joint. Yeah, Has. Has won everything, didn't they? That season? Yeah. Has won the floor with everyone. Has did won the floor with everyone. I said that earlier. Right, I yeah, came I in here. I am joining a, a really uh, yeah, historical team. Got, historical, that's right. Yeah. We, we won, <laughs> we won Division we 2 three, uh, Season 2 as well. Itself. Season yeah, 2 Has we won. won Joint Division. Yeah. And that's what's good, because it was the, the thing where you get the joint where you get to choose your car wasn't it wasn't introduced until season three, which McLaren won. Which so. is a but so nice. that, uh, <laughs> that really leads me on to the next question because my next question was who was part of the Haas Joint Constructors winners team of season two? Season Hello. two? Um Legends. Me. You cut out there I had Callum. Pres uh, Pres Presto. Legends. He said Legends, but I wonder Legends. Season three, we might know. Legends, I thought not. Legends Legend, was not. Legend. He was season three. No. Uh, Presto. Oh god. Presto isn't Presto. correct. Press. It is correct. On season one. No. No. Presto has in season one. So who was? Oh, was are we evolved, picking? So you always have Callum. What are we looking at so far? Season two. Season, season, oh, season oh, sorry. Season. I was thinking season one. Right. Season two. Oh god. Season two. Has one of the joint constructors as well in season two. Who was part of that team? Nope. It wasn't Relic. Oh god. Was that talk? season 3? Cal Callum, you should really know who your teammate was, unless you've said that already. I didn't have a consistent teammate. I tell this every time. Didn't have a consistent teammate. I had three different teammates that season. Well, there's, there's one written on the website. I assume that was the, your latest teammate then. I don't know, because I can't remember who's written on the... the... Oh, was it, um, was it Goat? Rude Goat? No. No. Well, you said evoke. Yeah. I think I heard evoke before. Nice, I did. correct. Nice, correct. Yeah. And you was evoke. Um, J H. No. no. Trap. Trapman. No. Um, I'm trying to think who's deep. Ranger was the three when he first season three. So. No. Oh, yeah. Rang three. Yeah. Yeah. Season two was a short season, wasn't it? Who was in the house? Yes. That wasn't with, with multiple Rogue drivers, Mender, was it? but it's one. Mender, season one. That was Gareth. season one, I think. Gareth and... Was Gareth. It Gareth, oh, Gareth. Gareth. Gareth is uh... written. Gareth, Gareth is written on the website, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah, but he's okay. he's the one who's got the title Neelix? on the website, so he's... No, he, Division Division 3 driver. Podium, yeah. You're missing two drivers now. One Division 2 driver. The uh, You're missing the teammate of Podium and the teammate of Evoke. So one Division well, who was, one was it Gibby? Division 2. Division three was Callum and Gareth. That's the one. Oh, Callum, yeah, of course, right. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, division one was um was it Gibby? Oh no, no it can't be Gibby, can it? Because he came season three. Uh, oh god. It's a hard question. I oh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, <laughs> was it? God, was it that David? Whatever his name was, David. Um. Uh, yeah, you're correct. David Storm, he was in the That's Division it. 1 team. Oh, you're correct. You're Talk just about. missing. So we're looking for number you're 2. Just, you're just missing Podium's teammate. Does he still race now? He does. Power Nope. Uh, what 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 division are they in now? He is in Division 1. Oh, he's one of my guys, right. Okay. Uh He's been in. He's been in Div One for a long time. Or, well, or been in the league for a long time. That's in Div. Clark, it can't have been <laughs> you by any chance, could it? It was me. Was it you? <laughs> I knew no. it. It is me. Yeah. You can't. Oh, that's, you can't do that. You can't make yourself an uh, answer in one of the quiz. That's yes, just. Can. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was one of the six answers, so <laughs> I made, Callum was one as well. Yeah. Right. How many more questions? I didn't. Got? We have got one more question. Yes, one more question. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Come on. This then. is probably the toughest one. 
Okay. Oh, so the, <laughs> lap, the lap, <laughs> the lap record, the lap record in Australia it was set all the way back in season one. Really long time ago now. It was a 122.4. Might get beaten this week. I don't know. But who set it? It was Mara. It was a folk. No, no trap. It was man. a folk. It was oh, a folk. Yeah, no, I, uh, oh, had to, oh. I had to get it for, uh, for Scott earlier because I was doing All the right. standings. That's a cheat. Oh, <laughs> That's oh cheating. well done. Cheating bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's called lucky. I'm doing that. That's how much. And so yeah, that's how answer. much Owen wanted to get a question done. right. <laughs> he was three in He's practicing the Hall of Fame on the website before every pod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know that. That was, was a good. Yeah, uh, that said, was a good uh, quiz. We were trying to find something yeah. to put at the bottom of the constructors, and so he was like, "I oh, will do what we did before. We had the track outline and who got the fastest that." And I was like, "Okay, it was Evoke in season one." <laughs> well, very good. Also, I uh, hope something that yeah, I've, like which I've read in the chat and actually reminds me. I was going to say, uh, we've actually got another Swedish driver this year. Oh, have we? Do we? Uh, Gito in uh, Div oh, 2. Oh, my division, Williams. yeah. Really? Ah. Yeah. I hope he wins that. Yeah. We also I got, don't. Uh, he, he's looking he's the strong. One who's also, we've got uh, Nikki, who's from Finland. So another part oh, of the name. No. Yeah. And of course, we've got <laughs> Kevin, who's in uh, Denmark. We've got all sorts. Oh, at, least yeah. it's not Nor at least it's not Norwegian. Sorry to all Norwegians. We've got I think Norwegians? we do have someone from Norway. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what's the flag of Norway. Uh, red. Like red, blue, and red. red. And yeah, exactly. It's like the Swedish flag, but it's Norway like the white line as well. That's ah, good. No. <sighs> they can, they, all they can do is skiing. They can, can do anything else. <laughs>